Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest 3 The Kindred, where we have just discovered that Baines's brother, aka uh, the Death Angel from the first two games, could well be behind everything that's happened in this game, or at least involved in some way. We managed to get a uh, photo of him, and now Morales has asked us to drop her back to uh, the mall, so she can make another one of her phone calls. So, um, Morales is making a phone call. Now, the idea that I've had here, some of the stores are undergoing renovation, is that we've got this army recruiter's office, and I wonder if we can head in here. Obviously, we, we used the key cut in place before. This place is under construction, but I wonder if we can maybe go in here and ask about some of the items we've got from the... Because the guys... Oh, yeah, look, there is something going on in here. Good day, sir. Good day. You look like a man in need of a career. Um, no, actually. You made an excellent choice. The army's the only life for a man. Outdoor adventure, free room and board, good old-fashioned discipline. Yeah, get those TV ideas out of your system and get your life back under control. No, I mean, no, not really. Um, let's have a look around. Just looking at all these posters makes you feel patriotic. Okay, we've got filing cabinets. Uh, counters. What else have we got? Desk has a military neatness. Is that Morales outside? Those computers are everywhere, aren't they? Who, who's that? A passerby. Okay. Uh, can we can we talk to this guy? Hmm. That sounds terrific. But I already have got a good career. Thanks. Can we show him any of these things we've got here? Because we've got like the the cult things, right? Cult ring. Maybe we can show him like, some of this stuff. I'm, I'm guessing maybe we can show him the photo. But I kind of want to show him. The recruiter isn't interested. Okay, he's not interested in that. Do you know anything about this? No. What's this again? Oh yeah, the news article. I don't suppose he knows about this. No, he isn't interested. Uh, what else have we got? I mean, we've got we've got this photo right, and that I mean there is the guy in it is wearing military clothes, isn't he? Baines's brother. I'm guessing it's Baines's brother on the right. You show the photograph of Jesse and Michael Baines to the recruiting officer. Can you give me any information on this man? His name is Michael Baines. He should have a military record. That's privileged information there, boy. The US Army doesn't hand out military records to just anyone. Oh, okay, so... Badge? You show the recruiting officer your badge and identify yourself. He looks closely at your credentials, making sure they're legitimate. When he looks up, he seems more cooperative. Well, why didn't you say you were who you were earlier? Of course I can get that information for you, Sergeant. Hey, okay. Ah, here we go, Michael Baines. Let me get you a printout. There you are, Sergeant. Hope it helps. Do, I mean, do we actually have to go and get this ourselves? Can you not just get it for us and pass it across? You take the print out of Michael Baines' military record. Browsing through Michael Baines' military record, you come across the following information. Career gunnery sergeant, exemplary record, bearing and behaviour beyond reproach. Behaviour alteration noticed following brother's death, Jesse Baines, at the hands of the police. Admitted to military psychiatric facility following a particularly violent outburst, two injured. Okay, so he basically went on a downward spiral after we killed Baines in Police Quest 2. He went to a military psychiatric facility, so I wonder if we can find out about that. Returned to active duty, but began displaying more violent antisocial behavioural patterns. Unprovoked physical attacks reported. Medical discharge from army for psychological instability. So I'm wondering if he was the one who had the bronze star then. Maybe he was the other guy in the attack because there were two guys weren't there when the attack happened so potentially he was the other guy but i don't know i might be wrong on that he might just be involved he might have actually been there i don't know um got bane's record seems feels weird to be saying bane's name again uh anything else this guy can tell us at the end of your six year enlistment you'll be amazed at how the time just flew by Okay, I mean, we said we weren't going to be, you know, the recruiter isn't interested. Do you know anything about this? No, he doesn't. Can we show him this and get any more info? You can keep it, Sergeant. The US Army's got it all in its data banks. Okay, so we can keep the record. I wonder if we can, like, do anything with that, like, submit it as evidence. Serving you is a pleasure, sir. Don't forget, the US Army, if you ever need a change of careers. Thanks, I won't. Well... I mean, I'd rather than... Oh, is she back in the car? 
Or are we about to get attacked again? Because last time Morales disappointed, disappeared, we got attacked in the bar, didn't we? Hoping not. I mean, maybe we'll be all right. Oh no. With nothing further to do, you head back to the station. Cool. All right, well. I'll catch up with you. Gotta to run to my car. Well, that's rather suspicious again. Anyway, um, I mean, we could book all this evidence. Let's save uh, again. We'll just call it like back at station day six. Back at station day six. Replace. All right. Let's see if we can book all this evidence then and link it to the case. Might be able to. I mean, I guess we can book the um, the ring and everything. Do we? Oh yeah, here we go. What case number, Sonny? Uh, oh, what was it again? Let me grab my thing. One nine nine. I'm guessing it's one four five. Name? Andrew Dent. Yeah, I guess it all goes under that file because that's the most recent file, right? Description of evidence. Insignia ring. Location found. Uh, left hand, murder suspect Steve Rocklin. And disposition. Secure as evidence. Okay. Well, that's that one done. When she comes back, we'll, uh, we'll do the book. I've got to do this as well. The book, this, and maybe the article, and maybe the file and the photo as well. There's a lot to... Um, to drop off here. Uh, what case number? Same one. One, four, five. Name. Dent. Description of evidence. Cult book. Location found. On body of murder suspect Steve Rocklin. Disposition. Secure as evidence. Okay. Rinse and repeat for like the 10,000th time, probably. Okay, so we've got, um, what else have we got? We've got the photo, we've got the article. Hang on, let's get the article booked in. Evidence doesn't want that, okay, fine. Uh, does evidence want this? Yeah, evidence does want this. Fine, uh, what case number, Sonny? Uh, the same again. Yeah, I mean, I guess it all goes under this case number. Andrew Dent, description of evidence, personal photo, location found, burned out house, 500 block West Peach. And disposition, secure as evidence. I mean, I don't know if we're meant to be... I, I guess this all... I guess this does all apply to... What, what was this again? Blood and hair samples in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Case number 1991145. Name, unknown source. Description of evidence. Blood and hair samples. Location found. Burned out house, 500 block west. Why did he say unknown source? Oh, we are. Well, I, sup I suppose analyze for DNA profile. Yeah, I mean, I suppose he doesn't know where the blood came from, does he? So, yeah, it makes sense, actually. I don't... Was it dense blood? Maybe. We don't really know. But I guess the DNA sample thing will tell us. Oh, evidence doesn't want that. Okay, well, I mean... I think that's probably it, then. So we've got the article and the, um... The file. They don't want to see that in evidence, which is interesting. All right, well, let's, um... Let's go back up. Well, so apparently there's like a, a bug, um, like where if we go back to the homicide office, the game will take us to the coroner's office or something. So I might save and see if that actually happens, you know. <laughs> so let's um, let's give that a go. We'll save here. I mean, we, we should probably save anyway, because we um, handed over the evidence, didn't we? So submitted evidence. Oh, not evidence. <laughs> evidence. Fine. Let's see if it happens.
I don't know if, if this will work or whether it only happens to some people or what, but uh, seems to be all right. Do we want to show this to the captain? No. Okay. Do we want to show this to the captain? No. Okay. So what do we want to do with it? Let's, let's try having another look at it. Military record. I mean, it did say... The military record did say about um, psychiatric hospital, right? So I wonder if maybe we can take this to the, to the psychiatrist's place. Because it looks similar, actually, to the file we saw on Morales anyway. So maybe we can, like, submit it in here. Like, in the filing cabinet in here or something. Either way, we can't submit it as evidence, so... Oh, this guy's in here now. Yeah, it looks a bit like that file, doesn't it? Excuse me, Dr. Ames, I'm tracking a suspected serial killer. Think you can help me by out by putting together a psychological profile on him? Where's your documentation? I can't diagnose thin air. This guy's really snarky, isn't he? You hand the military record to the doctor. Lovely. I get to peer into that mind to the mind of yet another scumbag. The doctor reads Bane's military record, then goes into his analysis pose. <laughs> Rather interesting, actually. He briefs you on the character of Michael Baines. This guy is not your average scumbag. He's closer to the slit his own mother's throat variety. Fantastic. I'd know more if I'd examined him, but based on this, I'd say he's a schizophrenic psychopath. Okay. The guy is criminally insane, Bonds. I'd be careful on how I approached him. Okay. Fine. We'll remember that. Uh, is, that is that all you've got to say? Well, Bonds, you've got your information, now go and catch him. Can we show him this as well? Oh, the, it seems like we've lost the file as well. Alright, well, we, did we get points? Yeah, we got points for doing that, so that, that's a thing at least. Alright, uh, is there anything going on in the briefing room? No, don't do that thing again, please, game. There is nothing going on in the briefing room, so we will head out. All right, let's see if we can go and talk to the captain or anything, I guess. Go, thank you. Captain. Bonds, the coroner called and said he has something important for you. Something he found on the fatal crash victim last night. Better get over to see him pronto. Is this... I wonder if this is the... Your partner should be back from a physical test. Oh, this is the glitch. That's the glitch that... Isn't it? Because that happened... This morning. So I wonder if that's the glitch and it puts you into like some sort of weird loop. All right, well, in that case, we're not going to do that. All right, we'll just not head back into there in case it is actually the entering of the office that causes the glitch to happen. I don't know. We'll just we'll just ignore it. So we'll do this file again. And then, I mean, if we can't go into the office, I, I guess we're going to have to go somewhere else. Yeah, let's just skip this. We know all about this. Rather interesting. Yeah. Schizophrenic psychopath. Cool. Thank you for that. So, I mean, there was the address on the um, the photo, wasn't there? Which was like five... What was it? Like, I don't know. It was, there was an address on the photo of the house that the Baineses were at. I can't actually remember what it was. Did I write it down? Not sure if I did. Alright, well, I tell you what. We'll save here. And we'll call it... Um, spoke to Psychiatrist. And then what we'll do is we'll just quickly load this one. Have a look at this photo again. So, 522... And it looks like Palm. 522 Palm. 
So, I mean, let's get the map. What would 522 Palm be on the map? Let's have a look. Uh, I mean, yeah, we have got Palm. We've got Palm. It, it runs along the top. And 522 would sort of be right up in the top left corner of the map. So I guess we could try heading there and seeing if anything happens there. So I guess we'll do that in the next episode because we're out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fans and Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.